Hey, fifth graders. Um, it's Wednesday. It's a rainy day. A uh, good day to maybe get all your homework done so that you might enjoy tomorrow if it's sunny. I'm not quite sure. Today, um, we're starting a new topic. Uh, I gave you a couple assignments in 14 on coordinated pairs, and I hopefully you got that and understood, okay? Um, I skipped 15. I may go back to it if I need to, but I've skipped 15 for now, and I'm doing... Um, 16, which has to do with uh, starting some shapes and things. And the first one is on triangles, okay? And you have to understand that triangles are identified in two ways, okay? One, by the type of angle it has. And the second is the size of the measurement, the side measurement, okay? How long the sides are, okay? And comparing them together. So on page um, 852, there is a great reference that talks about um, the different types of angles and how you name them. I'm gonna check really quickly because I wanna make sure I spelled. Nope, I forgot in this, in isosceles. So I have to make that change here in a second. I didn't think it looked quite right, but anyway. Um, so we're gonna talk about how you identify um, triangles, okay? Also something you need to know about a triangle is um, the angles, when you add up the three angles, it should add up to 180, okay? It adds up to 180. Um, not anything that you really need to know other than um, to help you maybe understand some different things. Uh, so we're gonna start with the type of angle that will be in the triangles, all right? So you're either gonna be looking for acute, which is less than 90 degrees, obtuse, which is greater than 90 degrees, or if it has a right angle, okay? Um, make sure that you see that. I know uh, my camera lady is zooming in on it so she, you can see. So again, if a triangle has one obtuse angle. It can only have one obtuse angle because it has to add up to um, 180 degrees. And so if this one is larger than 90, then the other two angles are gonna have to be um, less than uh, 90. So um, just remember that if you see one obtuse angle in the triangle, it automatically becomes obtuse. If you have acute angles, all three of them have to be acute, okay? And that means that all three of them will be less than um, 90 degrees, all right? And finally, you have the right triangle, which just means that one of the angles has to be 90 degrees, and that symbol of the box right there, that will show you, that will be a standard 90 degree um, uh, symbol so that you know that it's talking about it. Um, I have some kitty cats outside that look like they want to come in. Um, hey kitty cats. So anyway, so this is one way that you do um, classify a triangle, okay, is by the type of angle that it has in it. Okay, so it's either going to be an acute one, an obtuse one, or a right triangle, okay, based on um, the angles, all right. Uh, and again, remember that it only has to have one obtuse to make it obtuse. Um, it can only have one right to make it a right one. And then all three have to be acute for it to be an acute one. Okay? All right. So that's how you would look at, and that's the first thing that you would classify. And I would say that that's probably the easiest one to pick out first. Because when you are naming and classifying triangles, you have to give me both their names. Okay, so it can be an acute something, an obtuse something, or a right something, um, but you have to be able to name it by its angle and then by its side measurements, all right? This is where I need to do a little uh, um, editing here for my sake and yours, I apologize. I need to put another S right there. So it's I-S-O-S-C-E-L-E-S. -S for isosceles, okay? Now this one is um, the measurements of its sides, okay? 
and you can look by some symbols and maybe some symbols will help you um, if they don't have actual measurements, all right? Um, an isosceles triangle has to have just two sides the same measurement, all right? So, and it can be any two, um, it's, well, I'm gonna take that back. It's generally the two standing up sides, but it could be the bottom and one of the sides, all right? So anyway, but a isosceles triangle, and I've got those two lines there, that shows you that this line and that line are supposed to be equal, okay? So the isosceles triangle has to have two sides that equal the same, all right, to make it isosceles. An equilateral triangle, which has the word equal in it, hopefully that'll make you um, think that it's the same, all three sides have to be the same. Also, just so you can have a reference, the three angles will also have the same measurement, okay? Each one of those measurements, okay, all right, will be 60 degrees. It'll be 60, 60, 60, because 60 plus 60 plus 60 is 180. Equilateral triangles have to have three sides, okay? And then the last one um, would be a scalene triangle and no sides are equal. That's why I have the equal sign with a line through it. None of them are equal. They're all gonna be three different measurements, okay? And what it might look like, let me show you, with the symbols, it might be that that one is the same then that one equals something else. So you might see those kind of um, lines on it where it says this is one side measurement, this is another that is not equal, and this is a third new one, okay? So that would be um, a scalene triangle, all right? Now, yes, um, an equilateral triangle can be considered also isosceles because it has three sides, so at least has a minimum of two. Okay, but you don't have to worry about that. That's kind of the same thing about your squares and rectangles and rectangles and squares. Um, but an isosceles is not always an equilateral. Actually, it's never gonna be one because it only has to have two that are, are the same. So just a little fun fact there, put it in. But again, so when you're gonna do this, you're going to be looking at the triangles and you're gonna be naming them. So you might have an acute equilateral, okay? You could have a scalene obtuse. You could have an um, isosceles right. It's kind of difficult to draw, but it, it is possible. So you have to be able to give them two names, okay? When you do this. So remember that, that you're gonna have to put um, two names for each one when you classify it. So you know your pages, your assignments, um, let me double check. You guys are doing um, 852. Please look at that. Very important with the names. You're going to do 853, 1 and 54, 1 through 11, and number 16. And then on 855 and 856, you're going to do 1 through 12. I also put on there the top of 855 can also be helpful, okay? Um, when you're looking at it. So good luck on your math today. Um, I know you can do it. You just gotta pay attention to the sides and the angles and you've got it, all right? Have a great Wednesday. Talk to you later, bye.